Welcome back, everybody. We are basically now at our home away from home at this point. <laughs> yep. We're at Costco. <laughs> we have family coming in in a little while, and so we need to stock up our house. Yeah, so all the holidays in the season, your mom's coming up. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So we are going to really explore the holiday offerings here at Costco, check it out for friends and family, and uh, see what's all about. We do have a list. We do have a list. But we never stick to it. Nope. Let's just be honest. Yep. <laughs> all right, well, we're gonna head in, grab a cart, and uh, see what it's all about here for the holidays. Thank you. All right, here we go. All right, Kelly, I already see stuff I want to buy. It never takes long. Nope. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff here. Yeah. All right, sweet potatoes, $7.99. So we got a bunch of smaller ones where you can get some bigger ones, but I'm going to pick smaller because there's going to be a lot of us. People eat them. Yep. All right, check this out. A 10 pound bag of regular potatoes for $6.99. We're gonna get these as well. We are back in the bread aisle. Believe it or not, the kids like devoured the bags of uh, bread that we bought last time. One thing that we noted on these uh, Franz Bakery, and again, the Alaska Mate, is the sugar content. So I had a look. Uh, this one has one gram of sugar added. So that was kind of a concern that somebody brought up. So either way, not too bad on the sugar front on this bread, and it's a big bag. What do you think, Allie? Yep, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so when I look at our cheap eats for meats, definitely chicken thighs comes to the forefront. Here at Costco right now, these uh, six packs are $1.79 a pound. So I'll probably grab at least two of these. For, yeah, $1.79 is not bad. All right, up next, when I'm thinking about family and friends coming up, chuck roasts are so easy. Just throw it in the crock pot, and the price is only $7.49 a pound. But take a look at how thick these are, Kelly. I mean, my goodness. That's like three inch thick chuck roast. So I think what we'll probably do is get two of them. I'm looking for the, the fattiest pieces and I uh, will freeze some uh, to keep for after the holidays as well. All right, up next we're thinking about hors d'oeuvres, charcuterie boards, things like that. So I did see this Kelly, it's Kirkland brand dry salami. So this is only 31 cents per ounce, which is much cheaper than all the other meats that are down this aisle. So we're gonna stick with this one for $9.99 for the double pack. All right, to go with the charcuterie board theme, um, we got a cheese tray for $12.99. So we're definitely gonna get that. Looks like a good blend. You got the, yeah. like the dry age, the Charlesburg, Havarti, and uh, Gouda. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, sounds good. All right, check it out. We got a local, locally made Alaska salsa, and that's for $5.99. And, it, um, yeah, it's Taco Loco. They make the tortillas. We love their tortillas. That is awesome. I hope their salsa is great. And their chips are also good. So yes, they salsa are. has to be good. Well, it looks like they are out of stock on the five dozen eggs pack. So I'm going to go right next door here and grab the two dozen packs. It's three forty nine a pound, so six ninety nine for the two dozen eggs. All right, you guys. Granite has really upped his cooking game, and he is going to make orange chicken for my family when they show up. And so he needs some ch boneless chickenless, wait, boneless chicken breasts for how much? What's my price? For $18.99. And um, yeah, we're gonna watch him make an awesome meal. Yeah, per pound, $2.92 oh, yeah. per pound. Like that's cheaper than the fresh stuff. And I, I think frozen is better because we're not gonna burn through that whole thing, I don't think. Right, and then we can have it for other meals that he wants to try yeah, and experiment sure. with, so. All right, as a special treat for uh, the family and friends coming up, we are gonna get some of this frozen Alaskan salmon fillets. This is kind of a once in a while thing, especially next year we'll be able to catch our own and it'll be basically free, but we just don't have that option right now because we missed the season and we're not residents yet in terms of fishing license. So we do have to buy it. It is $40.99 for the bag, but at least it is wild caught and it's Alaska, so that'll work. Okay, last time we bought shredded cheese. We had this idea that we'd split it up and freeze it, but the kids end up eating all of it. So we never got to the freezing stage of it. But um, what we like about the shredded cheese is just really easy for the kids to make their own tortillas or um, whatever they're cooking with. 
in the future to save money, we do want to start buying the big blocks, but we don't have our cheese grater yet and we could just go buy another cheese grater, but we know one's coming in our shipments. And so. then you're stuck with two cheese then graters. We have two too cheese many cheese graters. graters, yeah. And then the, they're so bulky, they take up a lot of space in your cupboard. So we're hopefully that'll come and then we'll start shredding our own cheese. Yeah, but and then like, so the shredded stuff has that anti-caking stuff on it. So it is yeah. like, it would be better to buy the block before we uh, admit, but it just, yeah. it's a circumstance now. Now what's interesting is the Telemach yeah. in Kirkland brand is usually so much cheaper than any other brand but this is only the the telemach is only four cents more expensive per pound than the kirkland brand so we'll go telemach yep it tastes good because it's mild and that's uh the kirkland's mild and this is medium i like a, a sharper cheese yeah let's do it good. so i'm just catching up on all the controversy in the olive oil world so i was um unfamiliar with the fact that they're cutting olive oil with canola oils and it has to be single source and uh, traceable so when i look at this organic extra virgin olive oil i flip it over kel and listen to this i need my glasses it says packed with oils from portugal tunisia spain italian greece even though it's organic it just that's like so many regions that this strikes me as potentially a product that could be tampered with so we're going to go down a little bit we're going to put the organic back let's come down here cal so it's 13 dollars and 74 cents per liter it's just two liters so you flip this one over and it says that it's guaranteed 100 percent extra virgin olive oil traceable to its origins so i think we're gonna go with this one cal that sounds good all right me. let's do a single source i think it's as good as we can get at least currently right now at costco so i'm going to stick with this one okay so this holiday season i am going to attempt to make mulled wine, which we had in Georgia, when one of our very early, early, that's early, true. that's our very first YouTube international, international video. Videos. So we had mulled wine, it was amazing, and it's really good. There it's called glint wine, right? Yes, glint wine, is. I believe. Good memory. So um, I'm gonna attempt to make it at our house. I think it'll make really good smells out th throughout the house. So um, I've got a recipe from my friend, and it calls for cinnamon sticks. So here is a whole thing of cinnamon sticks. You should. Costco size for six thirty nine, and so that's a good place to start. Are you going to cook the glint wine or mold wine on the wood stove or the stove top? I am going to cook it on the wood stove in my Dutch oven. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Should be awesome. Okay, so I use vegetable stock for almost everything, even like sauteing vegetables. So I do have the boxes of vegetable stock on hand, but um, it's always good to have this bullion backup just in case I run out or I need to make a soup stock. Um, hopefully in future videos I'll make my own and can it, but until then, I'm gonna go with this for $8.89. And it's organic. It's organic. It looks, it looks like it'll last me years. It says, it says 100 servings. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. That's a lot of soup. All right, so a surprise find of the day, for me at least, is the molden sea salt. Now, I've got the molden smoked salt. I bought it off of Amazon. It's delicious. But I do want um, just the plain unsmoked. For things like garnishing on steaks or you know vegetables and anything like that but this is such a good find because on amazon it costs thir um, the exact one on amazon 13.69 well here at costco 7.99 that's a screaming deal so we're definitely gonna get one of these okay this is impulse buy also not on our list but olives um after living overseas olives are pretty cheap overseas but they seem to be a little more expensive um in the u.s and so this is only 27 per ounce. Shop from Costco. Yeah, buddy, all the way, all the way. <laughs> 27 cents per ounce. And so $12.99 for this um, pack of eight. And the kids love them. They snack on them, I snack on them. So good they're go. pre pretty good. Okay, we're gonna stick with the olive theme right now and I'm gonna get these stuffed jala jalapeno garlic olives. Granite and I love these. And so for $7.99, we're gonna get a jar of, what is this? 35 ounces. That's pretty good. People yeah. love those. They're yummy. Okay, so I'm going through chickpeas pretty quick, so I need to replenish. This is $8.79 for eight cans of chickpeas. Um, it is cheaper than buying them at the grocery store, though the cheapest route would be buying a bag of dried beans and pressure cooking them, pressure cooking them, which is what I'm going to do in the future as soon as my Instapot shows up at home. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> really to save money, it's the dry beans in the pressure cooker. But until yep. then, this is a good equivalent. Yep, just get the big bag, pressure cook it. But for now, we'll stick to cans. All right, three feet later, there's the black beans as well. Same price, uh, $8.79. And we're going to get those too. For $12.69, we have uh, 12 pouches, four servings each of dehydrated potatoes, which are great. You can go out camping and it's super cold out. This can keep you nice and warm. Um, 
I also just like to have this on hand to thicken up soups or gravies and stuff like that. It's so. very easy. Just it's add so hot water, easy. stir. It's pretty much the easiest thing. So it's good to have these just as a backup plan at home. So Granite threw seaweed on the shopping list this week. So I'm going to grab this Kirkland seaweed for eleven forty nine. Hmm. Also organic in a big old bag. Okay, we are quickly approaching the end of our checklist, which is great. Yeah, our Every, cart's getting pretty full. <laughs> cart's getting full, and pretty much anything else we buy is going to be a uh, impulse buy. But one thing that is on our list is pasta. I like to keep the pasta on hand just so that um, quick lunches or whatever. It's easy. Kids love it. Cedar's been asking yeah. for pesto pasta for a while. Um, $9.99 for six um, bags of pasta, so that's pretty good. And right behind me is the spaghetti. And right behind me is the spaghetti. Cedar also has been asking for that, so we're gonna get those for eleven ninety nine. That looks like the eight pack. Yeah, these are the eight pack, and this is six pack. So, pretty good deal. So, of all the things, Forrest is just obsessing about spam right now. So we are uh, burning through our spam supply. We're gonna get another pack for twenty three ninety nine. So I'm just price comparing the two sauces. This one with the rails, and this one is thirteen. 49 for three of them and this one even with the coupon is 9.69 for two so i'm going to go with the three pack so we'll save a little bit of money and then just keep this on hand with the pasta and it's organic and it's organic it tastes, tastes yummy hello oh yeah very good i know huh yeah yeah for sure yeah, thank, thank you. Bye-bye. All right, we are back from the Costco haul. Guys, check it out. Look at everything we got. So much stuff. Now, the idea, we know Nana is coming. We've got friends and family coming in for the holidays. So we tried to do some kind of like stock up. It was a huge amount. We ended up with four chuck rows, two huge bags of chicken thighs that i'll do like a buffalo sauce granite on okay. mom did get you your chicken breasts okay that you'll want for like your orange chicken, orange chicken that you're yeah. gonna cook all right more spam because cedar you and forrest are like burning through it is that cool yes cool beans yes. salt i'm excited about this one we've got cheddar cheese potatoes salmon more meat <laughs> it's basically a pretty meat heavy haul <laughs> not gonna lie yep that turned out you know to work and was that like okay Huge pack of like spaghetti and pasta. That's pretty good, right? Yeah. <laughs> Eggs, salsa, olives, cinnamon sticks, bread. Yeah, this is gonna work. More beans, More beans. lots of potatoes. All right, now, uh, anyone wanna guess the price of all this stuff? I hope uh, there's seats somewhere. 4,000. 3,000? 400. Uh, hopefully it's more in Granite Squirrel. What do you think there, Cal? Yeah, I would go more, maybe more granite route. Okay, so I'm I, I'm just you, so, you sure can. Thinking. Uh, maybe a thousand. All right. Well, thankfully not even a thousand. So the price is under five hundred. So our total price is four hundred eighty-three dollars and thirty-eight cents. So pretty good. I mean, really, all this for under five hundred. Ultimately, is a win these days. We did go with a uh, pizza, um, just because it's getting a little late. So how's that look, Cedar? Well, looks good. Half yeah. cheese, half pepperoni. I got ribs for myself, so I'm gonna stay off the pizza this these days right now. But all in all, we are building an entire Alaska playlist. Kelly's mom's coming into town. Let us know some fun activities you'd like us to see. Uh, we're talking about dog sledding, lots of kind of cool things like that. Yep, just different things in the area. All right, everyone. We'll see you in the next episode.